Hey guys, this is Keith at the L1 Automotive Training Channel. And real quick, we got a quick tip for you on doing GM wheel speed sensor diagnosis. Uh, there's John back there. He's our lovely key assistant for today. Uh, and, and Zach is moderating to make sure everything's good to go. Anyways, if you've dealt with these before, you know that GM has problems with ABS modules, the wiring to the sensors, the sensors themselves, mostly aftermarket part problems, and wheel bearings. So in order to diagnose at least half of that system and make sure it's not an ABS uh, sensor and, or not an ABS module or the wiring from the module to the sensors, because that could be a bunch to chase, because the problem is, is whenever you set a code on these, it turns the 12 volt off of from the module to the wheel speed sensor. So then to get the 12 volt back to do any more testing, you've got to clear the codes, power cycle the module, go drive it over 10 miles an hour, and then you're going, coming back and re-racking the car. And if you're disconnecting anything and turning the key on, you set codes that have to start all over again. So in a GM tech document, it talks about every time you cycle the key on, 12 volts is put, or 12 volts is put out from the ABS module just quickly. So what we've done is we took the wheel speed sensor out of the car or just unplugged it. And in place of where the wheel speed sensor plugs in, we put both of the wires of our one channel from our oscilloscope. On your oscilloscope, you have a power and a ground. Uh, the center pin is, is, your, is your signal feed. And then I say power, but your signal. And the outside is your ground. So you have two leads coming off of one. Well, we just plug those both into the wheel speed where the wheel speed sensor would go. Then we have John go ahead and turn the key on. And you can see we got 12 volts twice a quick ignition pulse. This happens, and if you let turn the key off, let it set for about two, three minutes, cycle the key on, this will happen again. Basically telling you, hey, your wiring is good and your ABS module is good all the way from the ABS all the way to where you're at. So now it's either a wheel bearing or a wheel speed sensor problem. Hang out for some more quick tips. Thanks guys.